Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to discuss something that I've talked about in another video but I didn't really go into great details uh, with that topic. So what I want to talk about is the fact that I've come to realize that a lot of people create a space in their life for other people to hurt them or manipulate them or use them or whatever term that you want to use but a lot of people actually create a space in their life that allows someone to be able to hurt them or to use them that sort of stuff so that's what we're gonna discuss today and I'll give you a couple examples of that as well so first of all you know if you are in a relationship and it's toxic and you're seeing the signs and the person is not treating you the way that you wish to be treated and you're seeing these signs early on in the relationship right it's not, it's not gotten to the point where it is so bad that you know it's it's obvious but it, it but it is at the point where it's obvious enough that you're seeing that it can only get worse if you are to stay in the relationship and despite that, believe it or not, you know, a lot of people will still choose to stay in a relationship that is toxic and in a relationship where they can already begin to see the signs that things are not going to work out perhaps the way they wish for it to work out. But what we do a lot of times is we create excuses for people, right? We create excuses for people because we really like them and boundaries that we set sometimes in relationships, we Either we completely remove the boundary because the person's already stepped over a couple of those boundaries and you like them so much that you keep moving away the boundaries or moving them back. And every time you're doing that, right, when you're removing boundaries or you're, or you're moving the boundary back, which means you're, you're changing your standards and all that sort of stuff that you set for yourself, what happens is you now you're creating a space now where this person can exist within your life and you're creating a space where this person can use you. Every time you allow someone to call you out of your name, you know, to say really disparaging things about you, sometimes even in public, right? In another video, I talked about a situation where I, you know, I was in a store and this couple got into an argument and in with, every, with all these strangers around, you know, he says to her, you know, you're nasty, you know, you stink, you're a nasty bitch, that sort of stuff. He calls her that in public. And I'm thinking, okay, if you're calling somebody like that in public, well, then you could only imagine what you say to this person anywhere, right? Especially in private or whatever. Because if you got the nerve to tell somebody that. So if you're allowing people to call you out of your name, if you allow people to cheat, not just once and they say, well, you know, we made a mistake or I made a mistake or whatever the case is and you know I'm gonna work on it or whatever but it's repeatedly happened then you're creating that space that I'm talking about so it's a space where you know the person is allowed to really just make you feel bad they're allowed to call you out of your name but you've created a space for them to do that in your life they're allowed to cheat on you believe it or not because all you do is cuss and argue with them and threaten to break up with them or separate from them for a couple of months or a couple of weeks or whatever the case is and they're able to just kind of move their way back into your life you've created a space for that person if you allow the person to put you down like to talk to you in not just that they're calling you out of your name but to verbally abuse you right repeatedly to the point to where you kind of maybe just laugh it off and said, you know, well, you know how he is or you know how she is or whatever the case is. And it, you've become so immune to it. Then you're creating that space where that person can now, you know, verbally abuse you and look down on you and call you all sorts of names. If you are in a relationship and you are allowing this person to, you know, physically abuse you now I've, I've talked to and worked with a number of people who have been in abusive relationships and a lot of times believe it or not I know sometimes a lot of you would say oh you know if it was me I would leave 
you know, a lot of times it's really difficult for people to leave. But if you're in a situation where the person is starting to push you and hit you and all that sort of stuff or spit on you or whatever the case is, and you're allowing it over and over and over and over again, then like it or not, but you're also creating a space in your life where this person can do that sort of stuff to you right that's you're encouraging that type of behavior and you're creating that space in your life where that person can do that sort of stuff to you so just think about all the things right ask yourself what am i doing right now in my relationship that is creating an opportunity because that's what that that's exactly what it is what am i doing right now in my relationship that is creating an opportunity, creating the perfect environment, the perfect atmosphere for this person to treat me the way they do. Because at some point, you've got to take responsibility for your actions, right? I think I've done about two videos on personal responsibility and all that sort of stuff, so please check those out. But ask yourself, what, what have I done that has now created this vacuum, this space, this environment? That the person that is supposed to love me is talking to me like this, talks down to me, verbally abuses me, physically abuses me, cheats on me with no, dis with no regard for or respect for the relationship. As a matter of fact, it might be so even bold to bring the person that they're cheating with to, your, to where you live, right? Uh, when you're not there, whatever the case is. Like, what have I done? What decisions have I made? That, have, that now have me in the position where I am today. And that's why I think reflection is such a powerful thing, right? As, you know, a lot of you probably in, in, as you're watching this video, everyone has their own challenges that they're dealing with. Everyone has probably been through something or you're currently going through something. And it's always good to ask yourself to kind of reflect and it's like, how did I get here? Like, how did I even get in this position, right? I've, I've worked and coached people before who, I, you know, I, I, I ask, ask them that question, like, ask yourself, how did you get here? Like, how have you gotten so away from what you believed in? How have you gotten so far away from the standards and the, the goals and the stuff that you, that you set and established for yourself? Like, how have I gotten to the point to where I allow somebody to talk to me like I am I am nothing, right? How have I how, what have I done to 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 get to the point to where this person treats me like trash? And you know, and and sometimes a lot of people are in relationships, especially women a lot of times find themselves in relationships where they know the guy is cheating and they know their husband's cheating or whatever the case is, but they just don't feel it's it's like they they come they become resigned to the fact that, okay, this person is doing this and this is who they are. So once he's paying the, uh, the bills or, or once he's helping out with the, whatever the case is and have reduced themselves to that point. And these are some of the same people. And I kid you not, believe it, it happens a lot with very educated people as well, right? It happens a lot with very, very educated people. It doesn't matter how many di diplomas you have on the wall or how many diplomas you don't have. Right? Don't think that people who are very educated or whatever, they're more sophisticated in their thoughts when it comes to a lot of these situations. No. A lot of times they're the ones who find themselves in that type of situation. So regardless of whatever situation you're currently in right now, you have to really look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what have I done to create this opportunity for th that I've given to this person, this space? What have I done to create this space for this person that they're allowed to walk into my life, sometimes walk back out, and then walk back again into my life and treat me the way they do? What have I done to do that? Is it my standards that are no lower? Is it that I'm so in love that I can't even see the truth in front of me? I'm blinded by whatever. Is it because of shame and embarrassment and I don't want people to know that this relationship that I've been talking about and posting on Instagram and Facebook and all this sort of stuff, it's not actually as good as it seemed. I mean, is it that what it is? Uh, and then I have to now make a personal choice to seek happiness and not worry about what other people think. So ask yourself, 
what have I done to, to end up in the situation where I am bitter and unhappy and, you know, blaming all these different situations, but not really looking at what I have contributed to my unhappiness. Because a lot of times, yes, we have contributed to the fact that we are in a situation that we don't want to be in. So what have you done to create the space, right, that allows the person to treat you? Because if you look at your life, there's a space in your life where you allow someone to come in. You give them time and all that type of stuff. You allow them to, to revolve within a certain space in your life. And within that space, they allow to attack you in certain different types of ways. And a lot of times bring pain and hurt. And how do you know, clear that space out, take back that space with, with stuff that is going to help you grow, that restores your positivity, that restores your hope for the future and your happiness and all that type of stuff. How do you cleanse that space and regain the person that you really want to be? So leave your comments, you know, down below. Let me know how you reclaim that space. Have you ever made that mistake to create that vacuum or that space in your life where someone can hurt you and take advantage of who you are? I know we can learn from each other. So, you know, leave your comments as well. And, you know, so that other people can learn and hear the, some of the experiences that, uh, that you've gone through and some of the things that you have to share with them. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications and hit the like button. Those two things help the channel grow, so I'll really appreciate it if you do that as well. All right? Take care of yourself, and until next time, peace.